politicians, this devil that call themselves leaders, they don't care about how they are people that are ruling this. They don't care about the masses. What they care about themselves. You can see what you can see. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. If governor now come and water this road now and they walk this road, it will be celebrating. Is it your money that you can be in political office today because of you have much money that you people have stolen from the masses? No problem. You will still leave that seat. And immediately you come down the same system of corruption. That is uncertainty because something is about to happen. And that thing that is about to happen is the only thing that will you know, change the fortune of Nigeria. What is it, sir? The, the revolution. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. That is why when I see all this army parading themselves with their vehicle and everything, I know that the time has not come. When the time comes, even the army, they will leave their, 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 their armored car and run away. Because they are also being affected. It's just like promoting your oppressor to keep on oppressing you. The armies you see on this road with these their heavy guns going about looking for those who want to embark on protest, they are not being left out. Some of them are yet to pay their school, children's school fees. But I don't blame them because most of them are wayward in the sense of their lifestyle. Some of them, you go to the ones, they send them uh, to Boronu, they go there, they get a wife and they marry. They send them to just they go there. So it's just their lifestyle in general. But I want to tell them that uh, enough is enough. And I want to tell Tinibu that you cannot achieve anything in this wicked country by negotiation. It is by force. Anybody that will die, let him die. After all, people are dying. I don't even see why people will be afraid of death. Because even if you are not killed by protest, you will still die in your house. You will die in accident. You will die in sickness. Poverty will cause sickness that will kill you. So I don't see the reason why people will keep running away. I don't see that reason. So we are to come out. If we are to come out, everybody has to come out. In what way? What do you mean that there's no, it's not by negotiation? Is it by violence? It is by violence. If we don't do violence, they will not take us serious. And the violence will start with the political class. Anybody that is called honorable will be held accountable, including the judiciary officers, like the judges. Anybody that is a judge will be held. Don't leave anyone. All of them are the same thing. All of them are beneficiary of the system. Okay, our president said today's speech, he said no, so we suffer more to endure. So more could they endure. Maybe the next four years. As will, as will be our name go talk to endure us. We go to endure Anybody who die for hungry, family burial with hungry. As we go to endure. Since we our leaders and our politicians, our, our, our hungry, you know they catch them. And they know they feed for us. I get annoyed. He was telling the Nigerian youth, Nigeria, we have about how many millions jobs for us. Go straight for what is happening in Nigeria. Go straight to the fuel, diesel. Closing. That is what is that is what is disturbing everybody in Nigeria. That is the problem we are having in Nigeria. But they don't go to the threat of the problem. That is what you are seeing. Everybody. Are you saying Nigerian government are not in touch with the realities of Nigeria? They are not in touch with anything because this Nigeria, this our politicians, this devil that call themselves leaders, they don't care about how they are people that are ruling this. They don't care about the masses. What they care about themselves. You can see what you can see. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. If governor now come and water this road now and they walk this road, he'll be celebrating. Is it your money that used to walk this road? If you go there, he did not walk road. He did not uh, uh, employ people. He did not uh, make the state to be bright. What are you going there for? So you don't know have to. You don't have to celebrate when you walk flyover. When you build the road because it's not your money, it's our money, it's Nigerian money. So I don't see anything celebrating. What today protests, ongoing uh, protests um, from other states? Um, today protests, uh, people are not coming out for the protest because there is a very big hunger in the country. But if protests want to start, it will just start like when, we st when the uh, M star started. Nobody, nobody said this is today or this is not the date to stand. Everybody come out in mass and the protest starts. But I know that one day protests will start and when it starts, it have already started. It's a massive protest. Yeah. All right now, all right. Let me hand it. Who said we needed a change? 
and they will never ask the kind of change we need. And you have seen the change they brought to us. Uh, from uh, Buhari, who we thought that is the worst president uh, to the person now, who is the devil himself, who is Tinibu. And it's not changing any soon. It's not about party. That you are in APC, it will not change. If they bring Labour Party, it will not change. Nigeria has depleted to the extent that there is no remedy whatsoever. The only remedy that uh, you know will foster any meaningful change in Nigeria is total dissolution of Nigeria. If actually we want any good for us as a people, then we must go our separate ways for all accord. You understand? So vividly, I had that uh, this thing. Knowledge that uh, they, 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 they are, we would have been protest this morning. But uh, as you can see, everywhere is still normal. People are going about their business. So that is just that. I don't think that there is anybody who has the strength to come out in the street to begin to protest of any kind of anything. You understand? Uh, you know what it is with poverty and hunger. A hungry man is an angry man. But in this case, they have subdued us with hunger. That people don't even have strength to come out. Is it true that the entire government weaponized poverty against its that is the that is that is what they do. They, they learned it from the Britain. The only way to subjugate people or group of people is by you know bringing a whole lot of poverty and hunger in their midst. So once you it's just like in the Biafran war, they had to stop a uh, food blo blockage so that food will not enter, and that is why uh, Biafrans gave up. They couldn't actualize that very country of theirs. So in this scenario, is also playing again. You see the government of the day trying to impoverish the citizens of the country, trying to make them not to even have a, a meal to feed in a day. So you, you see them the, every morning, the parents will be running helter skelter to look for something that their children will eat. At the end of the day, if you call for protest, you will not see anybody. Nobody will agitate. Nobody will ask questions. Why? Because every day we are, you are being engaged to look for something to eat, to look for something your family will eat. So that is the scenario we find ourselves. So is and that, it's is not changing hope, any is soon. For us? There, it is not changing any soon. There is no hope. We are living in hopelessness. It's just the fact. Anybody who is still you know, praying or being hopeful that Nigeria will be better, that person will have to uh, have a rethink. In Nigeria, we are going down the drain and nothing is going to stop us. Uh, where everything is, has crumbled. The, the, the Naira is nothing to write home about. I called a friend of mine in Ivory Coast the other day. He said that uh, uh, our 1,000 Naira, when he changed it to Ivory Coast uh, currency, that is uh, 600 Naira. Ivory Coast. These people are the people who fought a uh, civil war. It's not barely three to four years. They, 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 they restore peace in Ivory Coast. But you see their economy uh, coming stronger than Naira. So you begin to wonder and you begin to think. But the fact is that uh, we have not prepared our home and our house well. Uh, the people who have put into power or the people who came into power through the back door have made things very difficult for us uh, to foster as a people. And uh, that's what you see. There is no fuel. You can see ever busy road. Uh, Ikoku busy road yeah. is very quite scanty. Uh, people are scampering uh, for safety, they are scampering for food, there is no food, there is no money anywhere, no money in circulation. So uh, it you, becomes you spoke, very difficult. You, you spoke of the political class, uh, you know, they are the one that all the citizens of Nigeria in no state. Yes. You are a party member of APC. Will you say your party is responsible for the economic quagmire we are right now? Well, let me tell you, it's not about party, it's about the leadership. Is because, yes, yes, because uh, vividly, if you have to, you know, bring somebody from PDP, although PDP has been in power for 16 years, and uh, we, we Nigerians, we are the people who said we needed a change, and they will never ask the kind of change we need, and you have seen the change they brought to us. Uh, from uh, Buhari, who we thought that is the worst president to, to the person now, who is the devil himself, who is Tinibu. And it's not changing any soon. It's not about party. That you are in APC, it will not change. If they bring Labour Party, it will not change. Nigeria has depleted to the extent that there is no remedy whatsoever. The only remedy 
that uh, we, you know will foster any meaningful change in Nigeria is total dissolution of Nigeria. If actually we want any good for us as a people, then we must go our separate ways for us to you know go back to the grassroots to you know foster the much needed change the country needs. Right, but at this time, yeah. at this time, uh, Tinibu will not change the problem. He understand the uh, Dangote refinery is there. It has not. In fact, all, the day Dangote introduced this refinery, that is when, when the fuel increased. He understand. Yeah. It, they had to add more money to uh, the fuel price, the fuel pump price. He understand. So, but people were thinking that once that uh, Dangote refinery comes to existence, that it will remedy a lot of things. The... Yes, the effects. Of, uh, uh, yes, but it could it, it couldn't do that. So for you to know where we are going, you understand. And the government of the day, let me tell you something: they cannot do anything to change, bring a change. Look at the refineries we have; they are not working. So how do you, with common sense as a human being, think that only with Nigeria solely depend on that go to refinery that it will ease the tension of fuel scarcity and fuel uh, price in Nigeria? It's not possible. So the fact remains that the people who will put in hands of affairs of the country, they are not prepared to work for us. You understand? The president told you that uh, nobody voted for him. I swear nobody did. He came through the bad door. You understand? And uh, he said he used his money in campaigning. That is his money. And I think he wants to recover all he has spent. And he will do that while Nigerians die of hunger. Uh, why Nigerians die in their sleep because they cannot find food to eat. Uh, there is experience I had last week. Somebody died, they took the person to the mortuary, and the mortuary attendant married who were very clear that uh, there is no space for, for them to accommodate yeah. the dead. They went to up to three to four uh, mortuary and they couldn't accept the corpse of the disease. So Do you see you the problem? That means that people are dying in their homes, they are dying in their houses without us knowing. For the single fact that people went to deposit the, 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 the body of their disease and they found out that there is no space to accommodate their disease, it's a simple fact to tell you that people are dying in their numbers. So mortuary can no longer accommodate? Yes, mortuary in Nigeria cannot, even in this Portacourt. This is happening in Portacourt. This is happening in Portacourt. They went to military hospital. Uh, they couldn't uh, accept the dead body. They went to the Pama, uh, this thing, they couldn't. They went to teaching us. So it's just that. That means there are people, they are piling human beings, and there is no space Niger, to keep. Mortuary in Nigeria is now overpopulated. Oh, it's overpopulated. It's overpopulated. The, the man had to take the daughter to the house and bury. The man has to take the daughter to the, his house and bury. So it's quite appalling. If for the fact that you are seeing people moving around, you check on your friends. If that is the only thing for us to live. The only way is oppression. Check upon your neighbor, check upon your friend, check upon your church member. You are, not, you are not just church member, just going to church. Check on them. Some of them are sick. They cannot assess common basic necessity of going to healthcare to have their body checked. And you understand? So you, you have common malaria, you go to all these uh, pharmacy, all these chemists, local chemists, to get medicine for yourself is uh, outrageous. So for this fact, it's not about prayer. It's for us as a people to begin to, you know, prepare ourselves. You understand? We are going home. Nigeria is not our home. It is a creation made by the British. And this is their company, Niger, uh, uh, this thing, uh, royal company. Is a company, and when you have a company, what is your primary aim of owning a company? Is if uh, profit maximization. So Nigeria is just there for the whites to maximize profit, to go to their place and develop it. So if you are hoping that uh, the, the Nigeria that is being influenced by the Westerners will come out one day to you know make life better for you as a Nigeria, you are sick in the head. The only thing we we'll do is for us to you know gather our heads together. You understand? And wait for the uncertainty because something is about to happen. And that thing that is about to happen is the only thing that will, you know, change the fortune of Nigeria. What is it, the, the revolution. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. That is why when I see all this army parading themselves with their vehicle and everything, I know that the time has not come. When the time comes, even the army, they will leave their, 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 their America and run away. 
because they are also being affected. It's just like promoting your oppressor to keep on oppressing you. The armies you see on this road with these their heavy guns going about looking for those who want to embark on protest, they are not being left out. Some of them are here to pay their school, children's school fees, but I don't blame them because most of them are where what? In the sense of their lifestyle. Some of them you go to, the ones they send them uh, to Boronu, they go there, they get a wife and they marry. They send them to just they go there. So it's just their lifestyle uh, in general. But I want to tell them that uh, enough is enough. And I want to tell Tinibu as well, he should not just go and sit down and begin to marry because I know he's he, he, he's going about, you know, marrying with his, uh, Cele co uh, he's celebrating their victory with Winke too. But uh, uh, the, the dice has been cast and I will know that in no time we will uh, see something that is bigger than Nigeria and it will come and destroy Nigeria to a, to, to a flat. Then that uh, every component part will go and develop and enhance their life 